You're gonna have to drive soon, Joe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are we doing here, Ethan? I don't know. We're stopped at a red light and making a film. <laughs> what do you have in your hands? Uh, this is my new camera prototype. Well, we're gonna go out and test it, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> Well, hey, good day. This is Joe Van Cleve, and I'm over at the Secret World headquarters of Camera Dactyl Cameras with Ethan Moses. And Ethan recently got in a Lomography Fuji Instax Wide Graphlox back adapter. And so Fuji Instax Wide is instant film, instant print film made by Fuji that they have three different formats, uh, mini, square, and wide. And I've used the wide film for years in one of the Fuji cameras, but the Fuji cameras are kind of like point and shoot style. There's very little control of focus. The aperture is fixed. And so it has that kind of point and shoot instant film look. And what people have done over the years is tried to adapt Fuji Instax wide to like four by five cameras and kind of make ways to shoot it in a camera and then put it back in the film pack and run it through a Fuji camera to process it. But recently, Lomography came out with this motorized film back that fits onto a Graflox back camera, enables you to shoot Fuji Instax wide with any kind of a camera that takes a Graflox back. So I brought my Intrepid 4x5 camera over here today with the Fujinon 135F 5.6 lens using the Lomography back and also uh, Ethan has made a 3D printed back that uses Mamiya press lenses and this Lomography back as kind of a walk around point and shoot style camera that uses Fuji Instax wide film. So I thought today we'd look at this a little bit and kind of go around and play with it and maybe go out somewhere scenic and uh, have some fun with it. Hey Joe, where are we? We're at uh, a state park in uh, North Albuquerque and uh, along the Rio Grande Bosque. We're going to go down and bother some some plein air painters. Plein air painters. We should have an argument with them about whether photography is art or not. Joe used to Hey guys, I'm here down under the bridge Joe with Joe. Joe used to live in a house, but now he lives underneath the bridge. <laughs> but he has a tripod and a camera. He's like a homeless 4x5 guy. Stay off the film, kids. Stay you wind film, up living kid. under a bridge with me and Joe. <laughs> That's right. You don't want to be like me. Don't be a homeless with a camera. A homeless photographer. Maybe I could start a YouTube channel. Let's see. I think a vertical composition actually works for the uh, vertical shadows of the whatever. Sounds like art speak, you know? Okay. Looks rather nice. Let's see. Just looking at my focus. I'm going to be shooting this at probably f11. Stop at f11. Right there. That looks nice. A little dark. It's because it's stopped down to f11. All you see is like reflections. Probably, but... Okay. I'm going to close the lens. And this is where Ethan's going to meter it for me. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to get my phone. Tighten the ball head as much as I can. Use some lap meter free. Down under the bridge right here. 125th at F22. Okay. F22 at 125th. I'm going to do a test shot and make sure the shutters. Okay. Okay, we're cocked. And now I'm going to unlock the dark slide. Pull the dark slide. Wait for the camera to steady out. Now we'll put the dark slide back in. Lock it. Pull the back off. And press the magic button. You have to unlock it too. Yes. Okay. 
goes in our pocket and turn off the the back so the electronics are not sucking the batteries down and uh, this is the point where if you're homeless underneath the rid the bridge you're going to be looking for cans recycles aluminum while you're waiting for your print to develop so well i'm down in the north valley of albuquerque along the banks of the rio grande river which is redundant because it should just be the rio grande anyways i have my four by five intrepid view camera and a special guest Mr. Ethan Moses of Camera Dactyl Cameras. How Hi, Ethan. How you doing? <laughs> and so, well, you have a homemade camera here. Uh, yeah. And you got up at 4.30 this morning and printed it. Yeah, this is version 2. Version 1 did not work. Version 2 works. There'll be a version 3. <laughs> so tell us why you made this camera and what um, it does. So, Loma, Lomography just released the Lomograph Lock back, which takes... Uh, Instax wide, which is a pretty nice film, relatively inexpensive, and it fits on a 4x5 camera. And so, you know, we started, like, they have this shim that you use inside your focusing screen, but, you know, the obvious thing is just to make a focusing screen that has right. the correct offset, because it's, the frame is actually in a weird place, not the center. Right, so you 3D printed this, this shim with a built-in focusing screen which makes it really nice. Yeah. And then you can just uh, fold it back with bungee cords and insert the lomography back, right? Yeah, yeah, on the Intrepid. On the Intrepid, yeah. A camera that it's designed for, like a graph lock back, it just, you know, slides in and then um, gets these locks and then it's, you know, sturdy like that. And so I wanted to use some nice Mamiya press lenses on it, but I didn't feel like hacking apart camera after camera to make a janky one that works. So I just made like a really tough body that takes Mamiya press lenses. And then I'll make a little adapter to take uh, Mamiya RB or Graflex 23 film. So oh, yeah. it actually could be used for proofing, you know, six by nines rather uh -huh. than yeah. four by five. And so, yeah. yeah. Very cool. So you, the nice thing about this Mamiya press lens is you have a, a focusing helicoil and a focusing scale. Mm -hmm. So you can actually uh, scale focus rather than on this, you have to use the viewfinder, compose, and then close the lens, put your yeah. film back in and shoot, right? So. Yeah, and like the Fuji Instax film is ISO 800, although I've been rating it around four or five. But that means that really, like without an ND filter, you have to stop down quite a bit with one of these lenses. So, you know, at F11 or F16, I have plenty yeah. in focus. Yeah. So if you want to get that narrow depth of focus, like you really need to be using an ND filter, which we're going to eventually do. Yeah, and it's then I would recommend focusing on one of these guys instead of focusing just uh, yeah. by eye. But, but this so gives so it a so handheld kind of a press camera effect. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's kind of how I want to use Instax as you know, a handheld camera, not like a set up like a view camera, but you yeah. can use it for both. Oh, um, nice. Really dig this one. Let's see what else we got. Even here. though we're getting tired of the subject matter. This one was yours on the Intrepid. Yeah, underneath the bridge. This is where we're living under the bridge. Yeah. Right. Uh, that was a blurry one. I shot it like a fifteenth of a second of view. And I was feeling blurry yeah. at the time, I think. So. Let's see. This one is a lady we met painting. She's a clean air painter, and yeah, she was really interested in our cameras and very cool picture. That, that's nice kind lady. of the kind of quality you couldn't really get out of an in a Fuji camera. No. You know. This is my test shot of you that was too dark. Yes. And then here's you driving in the car. Yes, yes, yes. And I think we have a couple from I-25. Yep. And then, and then the bank building at yeah. Central and San Mateo. Yep. And that's it. All the others are still at home. Yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. Uh, so we're going to have some fun out here. Beautiful autumn weather in the North Valley. Leaves are actually turning, finally. This is a very nice day. Oh, this one of you is starting to develop. <laughs> I did one of them. Oh, wow. <laughs> Joe Van Cleve, YouTube superstar. The auteur. Yeah. <laughs> I like that one. That's pretty cool. I caught you blinking, though. Unfortunate. Watch the magic happen. Alright, that's the magic. That's the magic. Alright.
focused and composed. Let's test that shutter. Okay. Now, it's merely putting the film back in. Locked. It's locked and I'm loaded. Yes. And by the way, this tripod is extremely lightweight. It's really underrated for 4x5. Okay, here we go. Let the camera settle out. That was a good a good shot right there. It's gonna be a good shot. Okay. This is where the magic happens. Okay, put it in our pocket, let it process, turn off the back. Yay. Okay, wait a couple minutes and we will see what we get. So, put some shade here. Body shade. The body shade. Okay, so this is actually pretty simple to do. Take this one out, put this one in, done. Put the trash in the back now. Yeah, and the trash. you can also uh, eject the dark slide from the pack. And it advances to one. Yep, very cool. Nice and sharp. Exposure is about perfect. It makes it look like there's a lot more water than what mm -hmm. there actually is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> playing with the Lomograph lock back A plus we shot a bunch of pictures today we got some nice ones look at this Shana put them <laughs> look at this guy oh, yes uh, what else do we got we got one of the river yes. everything you could ever want we got another one of Joe with a camera yes <laughs> and then one of Joe eating breakfast <laughs> So, stay creative and have yourselves a good day. A great day. A great day. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>